Hi guys, today we're gonna model macarons in Blender and it's very super quick and simple. I start by creating a sphere, so I press Shift A and I add a UV sphere. Okay, now I go into Edit Mode, Vertex Selection and I just delete all these vertices because we need only these ones, so I press Delete Vertices. Okay, now we are left with just half of our sphere. First of all, I'm gonna close it, so I select this loop of edges and then I press F to create a new face and then I'm gonna insert it to create more faces inside it. So I press I and like this you see that we created another, another face. Okay, like this is enough. What we need to do is shape okay, this sphere so that it looks actually like the upper part of a macaron. So they are more squished than this, they are more scaled. We need to scale it on the Z axis, so I select these vertices with the proportional editing enabled. Okay. And I start scaling them down. And also I scale the whole thing on the z-axis like this. Okay. Okay, and also I want to move these vertices here. I want to move them down to make it more rounded here. And I'm going to add with Ctrl R another edge loop here and move it down to. Okay. Now I press with the right mouse button and I select Shades Mode. And now I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and I'm going to apply it immediately because we need more vertices for what we are doing now. Okay, now comes the hard part of creating a macaron because you know that here we should have the sponge part of the of the macaron and we're going to do it uh, by applying a displace modifier and also using a bump in our shader. But first of all, let's finish uh, the 3D model of our macaron. So I select this part and I press Shift D to duplicate it. I move it down and then I rotate on the x axis of 180 degrees. Okay. And now we need the central part. We can simply add a cylinder. Okay don't have to do anything, we just scale it and with the Ctrl R we add something like three loop of edges. Let's scale it down just a little more, okay. Okay, and now we scale them like this. Okay, now we can create the sponge part that I told you. So I select this geometry and first of all, we are gonna select the vertices which will be affected by the displace modifier. I'm gonna apply the displace modifier only to these vertices. For now, I think it's enough. So I go here in Object Data Properties and I add a new vertex group. And I assign it okay, to my vertices. Now, uh, we're going to assign a displace modifier, but we're going to create first the texture that Blender has to use. Okay, so uh, I don't know for what reason, but I already added texture, but I deleted it, so you can see better what I'm doing. 
I press new and here you can select the texture that you want. You can actually play with them and choose which one you prefer. Uh, for now I'm gonna use clouds and I already scale it because we need a very small texture. Now finally we can go here and choose and choose this place. Whoa, lovely. Uh, okay. Select our vertex group. And let's change immediately the strength. Okay. In case uh, it is applying the modifier to the wrong part, okay, to the wrong vertices, you can just invert here. In my case, is correct. And now I'm gonna select it and press Ctrl A, apply all transforms. Now we need to add the texture that we created before. So I go here and I select my texture. Okay. And now we can see it applied to our macaron finally. I think I'm gonna add this loop of edges to our vertex group. So I just go back here and press assign. Okay, Okay. now we can skip to the shading part. Uh, you can see that here I already created a background and also I already added some lights so we can see better what I'm creating. Let's go on and create the shader. Okay, I'm here in the shading viewport and with my macaron selected I press new. Uh, what macaron we're gonna do? I think I'm gonna do my favorite, which is the chocolate one. Yes, okay, let's choose a brownish color. Okay, this is the simple material for our macaron, but now we're gonna create another one. So, I select the faces here. Mm, maybe only these ones, okay. And I create a new material. I copy this one on this new slot. Okay. But first of all, we're gonna make it darker. Like this. Now, uh, adding nodes is the same thing as adding anything else in Blender, so you press Shift A, search, and I add a noise texture. And then I add a bump node, and we should be fine like this. Let's see. I connect the factor of the noise texture to my height. And then I connect this node to the normal. Yes. Let's reduce the scale here. I think it's a bit too dark. Okay, like this is better. Now let's play a little with these parameters until I'm satisfied with how it looks like.
I think that my texture is a bit stretched uh, here horizontally, so I'm gonna add a texture coordinate node. and a mapping node. Why I'm adding these two nodes? Because like this I can scale only on the x-axis my texture. So I connect the vector here and then I connect here generated to vector. And now I can go here on my x-axis and scale it as much as I want. And as you can see, the effect is much more realistic. Okay, honestly, I don't want to copy all these materials to the other part, so I'm gonna do something very lazy. I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna duplicate this one again. And voila! And just to make it more natural, for this part down here, I'm gonna reduce the spongy part, like this. Okay, now we can just do the cream part inside. I add the new material. And it's better to make it more, to make it darker than the other one, so you can see the difference. And also let's change the specularity and the roughness. Okay. Okay, I adjusted a bit the proportion of my macaron, because I scaled a bit this part here and the bottom part. And also I scaled the green to make it more visible. And that's it. I'm gonna show you my render settings, which are always the same basically. So, render engine TV, but I think it's gonna work the same in Cycles too. Yes, it looks really fine. And yes, ambient occlusion activated, bloom with this threshold and screen space reflection with refraction. And now, let's see what kind of lights I use for this one. Uh, I always add the sun with three, uh, with value three of strengths, and in this case it's completely white. Then one light here with a warm color, and one area light here on the right with a blue color. Then I use point lights to make uh, some small reflection and to illuminate some parts better. This is not illuminating anything at all and we can delete it. Yes, we can delete it. And this one instead illuminates the macaron here. It gives, it gives this uh, nice effect. And this one behind is basically my rim light. It's also a point light, but it's very, very strong. And the background has a simple shader. Okay, we're gonna see the final result. Ready? ta -da! My macarons are ready. And I added two more flavors so you can see how the shader works with different um, colors. And you can find the Blender file of this project in the link in the description. And yeah, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video and my tutorials. And we're gonna see each other again in the next tutorial. And also, if you recreate this 3D model, please tag me because I love to see your artwork. Bye!